Hey everybody, welcome to Fuel for the Soul with John Gifter. Thank you so much for taking time to listen to today's broadcast. Where I'm going to talk about a very, very important aspect where you and I, we all go through this many times in our life when life doesn't make sense and we're going through so many challenges when we're going through hardships, problems and things that are throwing us out and we are wondering where is God in all of this? When life doesn't make sense, is God still there? Where is he? Why is he silent? Why is it that I cannot see him do anything in my life? I don't know if you are asking this question. I don't know if you are crying about the fact that your life does not seem to make sense. And you're looking at the current situation in your life and you're just feeling so disturbed because all you can think about is negative things which are happening. And you're wondering... Yes, John, you're talking about the fact that as children of God, we have favor, we have grace, we are called to excel, we're called to, you know, make his name great, we're called to do great exploits for the kingdom of God. But look at the reality of my life. It does not seem to make sense. All I can see is negativity. All I can see is pain. All I can see is turmoil and trouble and storms and giants and mountains. And I don't see any. Thing or any form of a sign that God is actually working in my life. But I'm here to announce to you, dear saint of God, that the very fact that you're listening to this is a fact that God has wants to encourage you and let you know that he's not finished with you yet. He who began the good work in you has called you for something greater, has planned your life even to the very smallest of the details. So he knows what he's doing with your life and he knows how to take Take you to your final destination. Many times when we go through life, things seem to be like nothing seems to be happening for the better. It looks like everything is a mess. But when you come out of it, you're going to understand. When you come out of this season, when you come out of it, and when it's all said and done, you're going to be amazed that every single detail in your life was for a reason. When you take a puzzle, I've explained this in a, another episode of mine. Uh, I encourage you to check it out. I'll put the link to that video in the description. But here's the thing. I spoke about the puzzle. Every detail in the piece or, or every piece of the puzzle, you know, makes sense when you look at the big picture. But right now, when you take one piece of the puzzle and just try to make sense, it's not going to make sense. You're going to wonder why on earth do you need this piece in the puzzle. But I'm here to announce to you every detail of your life. God has it all planned. He has it all figured out. And when it's all said and done, it is going to make sense in your life. See, I'm going to talk about in the scripture, there's a man called Joseph. I would have explained Joseph's life several times in the Bible in my episodes. And here's the thing I want you to understand about Joseph. Joseph was a normal boy in a family. His brothers got jealous of Joseph because Joseph was called for greatness and um, his brothers uh, decided to end his life, but then they sell him as a, sl uh, you know, sell him, uh, as a slave. And then he goes and he's sold as a slave. And there, the Bible says that he did a fabulous job so the one who's in charge, basically, uh, his name is Potiphar, to whom Joseph was working. This Potiphar made him in charge of everything, uh, his whole household, because he saw the Lord's hand upon Joseph and he saw how everything prospered because Joseph was involved. I want you to understand something here. It's uh, an irony because Joseph was just a slave, but his presence prospered is slave master. I want you to understand, you may be thinking like, you know, my presence is blessing other people, but look at my own life, I'm still a slave. I'm still not able to comprehend because I know God called me for greatness. God put big dreams in me, but I'm just a slave. And adding to that, you realize that uh, Potiphar's wife wrongly accuses Pot uh, Joseph um, on a sexual ground 
And Joseph uh, had to run from there. He resisted, but still he's put in the prison. Now, this is what we always infer, okay, um, that Joseph is in the prison because he, um, you know, uh, uh, was wrongly accused by Potiphar's wife. But here's the important thing you need to understand, that even in this, it was the Lord's hand that can be clearly seen, which many people do not know about, and I'm going to talk about this to you. This is what I want you to understand. The law of the land was if anybody attempted to rape or, you know, what uh, Potiphar's wife was actually accusing Joseph was, for was, Joseph should have actually been executed because that was the law of the land. He should have been killed. His story was over when she accused him wrongly. Then how is it that he was still alive? Was It was because, here's the thing, Potiphar was a high-ranking official under the Pharaoh, and he was in charge of the gods. He was an influential person there. So when Joseph was wrongly accused, the only one who could actually prevent him from being executed was Potiphar. Now think about this. And if Potiphar had not believed in Joseph, you know, the scholars actually say that Potiphar would have possibly believed in Joseph or would have known about uh, his wife you know, saying it in a, in a wrongly accusing Joseph. He w could have sensed that. Uh, because uh, there's another study which says that, um, if you study about the culture of that time, uh, the Potiphar and all these uh, people who worked for the king, they were all eunuchs. In other words, they, um, you know, the, their... Uh, uh, reproductive system was, you know, the stuff was just taken out. So they were basically done in such a way so that um, the king feared that these officials might, you know, uh, you know, make a greater impact for the kingdom. Or how do I put this in this way? The official or the the king actually thought, okay, if um, we don't stop them. Otherwise, they can reproduce, and then what can happen is they can be more powerful than the king, and they can overthrow the king. This is what the king taught. So for that reason, all the king's officials were all eunuchs. They, that's what happened. So because of this, Potiphar's wife longed for a sexual encounter, which she could not get from Potiphar, so she wanted to get from Joseph. I hope you're able to understand what I'm saying. I know it's a little confusing because it's the first time I'm talking about these things. And think about it. So Joseph was not, you know, in just a normal house. He was in Potiphar's house. And he was the one who was in charge of the prisons that were for, you know, the king's officials, the royal people. So that's why he had the ability to prevent Joseph from being executed and hence put Joseph in the prison which housed all the king's criminals or king's prisoners. And that's how Joseph got the connection to be in the prison where the king's official, the, the cup bearer, be in the same prison as Joseph was. And then Joseph interprets his dream. And long story made short, you know, when the king required somebody to interpret his dream, the cup bearer paves the way for Joseph to be taken to the palace. And the rest is history of how Joseph reaches the palace. But what you see is something so beautiful. Of all the people in the world, you realize that God ensured that Joseph was sold to Potiphar as a slave. Not to somebody else, but to Potiphar. And of all the things, Potiphar trusted in Joseph. Otherwise, Potiphar could have been the first one to kill Joseph. He had all the right to do it, but he didn't. And you see, even though in normal circumstances it looked 
like it was bad, it was negative and things like that. All the forces were against Joseph. You see, the hand of God was sovereignly working behind the scenes in Joseph's life. And that's the beauty, how God elevated. Because Potiphar was not just a normal person, he was in charge of the prisons for the royal uh, prisoners. That's how Joseph got the connection to be, you know, able to, able to um, um, help and interpret the dream for the cupbearer and then go to the palace. So you see, on the outside, it looks like everything is bad. But on the inside, you realize, or behind the scenes, you realize God's hand was upon Joseph's life. Even in the fact that he was crying when he was, you know, being taken as a slave. But even in that, the Bible says that God helped him be in Potiphar's house. If he had been, uh, if the same situation had happened in anybody else's house and not Potiphar's house, Joseph would have been executed. So what you realize, if something, you know, is not your time for you to be executed, nobody can stop. God can make things happen in such of minutest of details. He can, he pays attention to it to ensure that you are safe and you are protected. You are watched and that every of those details will make sense when it's all said and done. See, when Joseph was going through that, he wouldn't have understood. Why am I in Potiphar's house? Why not in somebody else's house? Or when he was going through that, he wouldn't have understood. You know, because of this, I'm in the prison now. Otherwise, if I'm executed, I would have died. My life is over. At least I won't be in pain. Or, you know, why is uh, Potiphar's wife accusing me wrongly? All these questions could have come. But later, when you look back, everything makes sense. See, I want to leave with this Example, many times when I go through life, things like life doesn't seem to make sense. Like uh, when I look at my own life, oh no God, I wanted to see this happen in my life. I wanted to see my ministry grow this much or see progress in my ministries, progress in my life. But things seemed like nothing was happening. But about a month ago when JGI, John Gift International Ministries, turned uh, eight, Okay, it was in September. Uh, what happened was uh, we made this video where uh, we took and compiled all the uh, important events that happened in the last one year. And I was really astonished to see how God reminded me of how things started as a dream about a decade ago. Things started small. Things started were just, you know, with Photoshop kind of a picture, how God translated it to become a reality. When I looked at life, it seemed like nothing was happening. But when I took time to pause and look back at the big picture, it made sense. And even now, when I look at life, it doesn't make sense. But I know one day, when I look back at this moment, it's going to make sense. And that's the word I want to encourage you. And even when life doesn't make sense, keep moving forward, keep holding on, keep trusting God. When it's all said and done, it will make sense. I hope this message blessed you, encouraged you, taught you something. Would love to hear from you. Do like, comment, share, and subscribe. I encourage you to connect with me through social media. The details are all in the description. Also, check out my everyday podcasts that are available. And don't forget to buy my books. Okay, uh, especially my new book, Unveil Your Purpose, which is available as well. May God bless you. Amen. Hey guys, I encourage you to check out my new number one book, best selling book, Unveil Your Purpose, a complete guide to live the life that you've been created for. It's something I really encourage each of you to get it because I believe it's going to. Uh, change your life and it will be a game changer for you because I believe a lot of people say that you know they're not sure how to discover their purpose they're not sure how to walk in their purpose but this book will definitely give you the clear mind and guidance to take the right step so I encourage you to uh, get it the details are all available in the description and uh, if you have any more questions, do feel free to reach out to me.
God bless you. We hope you are blessed by this special program by the John Gifter International Ministries and we are looking forward to hear from you. We invite you to stay connected with us through all our services, events, YouTube and other social media forums for regular inspirations, teachings and further updates. You can also know more about our ministry by logging on to www.johngifter.com If you have been blessed by this program and would like us to continue to bless more people, we encourage you to partner with us financially. If you are led to sow into the John Gifter International Ministries, you can now transfer your funds through net banking or Google Pay. Thank you once again for staying tuned. God bless you.